Today we will celebrate the release of the new tropical pack by building a habitat for the Red River Hawks in the Elm Hill City Zoo. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. It is time for a very exciting episode of the Elm Hill City Zoo, because today we'll add the first animal from the newest tropical pack to our zoo and this is the Red River Hog. It actually took me some time to figure out which animal from this new pack I wanted to add to our zoo first, uh, but after recording my video that is already out on my channel, uh, so this is the overview of the pack of the new animals and all the new building pieces and so on, and after taking a close look at all of those animals, I just felt deeply in love with the Red River Hawk. I think that this is my favorite animal of the new pack, so I just had to build for it first. But before we'll talk more about this enclosure, about my inspiration and about the Red River Hawk itself, let's just briefly talk about the new pack, about the new update and everything that is going on right now because of course this is the DLC time, it is a very exciting time as always for Planet Zoo community. So let's dive right into it. First of all, thank you so much Frontier if some of you are watching. Uh, for providing me with an early access to this new pack. Uh, this always means the world so that I am able to, you know, pre-record those videos. Uh, so you can see what the pack is really about, what are the new animals, what are the new building pieces and stuff like that. And also uh, I was able to build this enclosure to give you some inspiration for your river hawk enclosures uh, when you will download the pack tomorrow. Because the official premiere for the tropical pack is tomorrow uh, for everyone to download and to you know get to it to enjoy it because I think it's totally amazing of course it is tomorrow if you are watching this video on the day of its release uh, but yeah thanks to Frontier I am able to pre-record those videos and publish them the day before so uh, this is always super super exciting and a lot of work <laughs> to record so so many uh, you know footage so many content uh, so every time we get uh, release for every pack right now, uh, I know that before, like several days before, I shouldn't plan anything because those will be a very busy days for me, for me uh, to record those videos. This is every time the same thing. Uh, so this time I also had a lot of work. There was a lot of to cover. And also this habitat. At first I thought that it will be easy and quick, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was quite a lot of work and you uh, will see how actually detailed it is. I didn't think uh, that I wanted to make it so detailed, but I accidentally <laughs> uh, put a lot of things in it. Uh, but in and I love it so much. So yeah, if you are watching this video, uh, the two previous videos uh, covering the tropical pack and all the animals and new building pieces should be out on my channel. So I will put the link down in the description and on the screen right now. And also in the other video covering the new free update 1.13 uh, should be also out. So if you are interested in that, I will also put the link down in the description and on the screen right now so we can go and check it out there are some some very exciting and very very nice things uh, in both the tropical pack and the free update the free update has some free foliage which has some free building pieces which is really amazing uh, in the new pack we have amazing animals I really really must say that I love the roster of animals of this pack and really incredible building pieces I was a bit afraid again that there there will be two like themed that it will be hard for me for example to use them in the Elm Hill City Zoo that is very just you know generic city zoo builds and so on but actually those pieces are amazing amazing for those builds and I will prove that to you because I am using a lot of those in today's builds. I am mostly talking about the wall set that we uh, we are getting the mossy rocks that you can totally change color of the moss and everything on those rocks to make them 
look a bit more like dirty, not mossy, and this suits to many different builds, I feel like. And also we are getting the whole set of different like uh, wooden timber pieces that are recolorable and that are really amazing, have some really nice texture. So yeah, some really amazing building pieces that I know that I will be using a lot in my future builds. So uh, if you would ask me, should I buy a new pack? I would totally say yes, go for it because both the building pieces and the animals, the animals are so detailed. They have some really amazing animations and they are so, so fun. I mean, all of them are really nice. I don't see anything that could be bad or mediocre or anything like that. Maybe the, the uh, water monitor is not super exciting, but I am still happy that we have another lizard in the game. We only had two of them, those, so so why not have three? The water monitor, the Asian water monitor, is the second heaviest lizard on Earth uh, right after the Komodo dragon. It is very big in the game. Uh, it also has some really nice colors and uh, I am very happy that it was added because I am simply building this reptile house that you may or not, or not may seen but it is out on my channel so uh, go and check it out if you uh, haven't because this will be a continuous series going on throughout several you know next episodes and so on okay and the last thing that I wanted to tell you before we'll actually talk about the builds and my inspirations and so on is the big celebration that I already talked about in my some of my previous videos of 15,000 subscribers actually when I am recording this video we already have 16,000 so thank you guys so much for this this really means amazing and uh, the, the subscriber count is you know growing so fast lately that uh, I cannot believe that and thank you this always means the world to me but yeah regarding the celebration I really wanted to announce uh, that you have to have your eyes open tomorrow on all my social media and we'll have something huge something major something never done before on my channel so i hope you guys are as excited as i am uh, keep your eyes open on my you know social media accounts because i will be just putting some teasers out there tomorrow and then I will do uh, a big like uh, announcement there uh, what will actually happen when it comes to my celebration of 15,000 subscribers. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that, it will be all out tomorrow. Of course, if you are watching this video on the day of its release again, uh, if you are watching it later, you probably would know what it is already. Uh, but yeah, I am super excited. I cannot wait to uh, share with you guys some news. And yeah, keep your eyes open tomorrow. I swear to you that it will be worth it. Okay, and let's finally talk about today's build, about the, my inspirations, what pieces I was using and uh, again about our Red River Hogs because I love them so much, I really do. This is right now probably one of my top 10 animals in Planet Zoo. Uh, I also really like the Fusa from the new pack and I also like the Lar Gibbon. I think that they are amazing, I don't mind that this is another Gibbon, I think that the Lar Gibbons because of their color variations, because of their sounds and the brachiation on the uh, vines and on those uh, smaller poles, because they can also do it right now, uh, it's just amazing. Uh, so those are probably my three animals in this particular order. So my first uh, top uh, top one is the Red River Hawk, then we have the Fusa, and then the Largibon. Probably after that we have a Sloth and the Monitor at the end. So if you are, were wondering what is my official ranking, this is it. The reason why I love the Red River Hawk so much is that when I first, for the first time, released them in the habitat that I've built for them in uh, in the zoo that I was building for the showcase of the pack, I just, you know, gasped. I was like, whoa, whoa, really? It is so, like, 
detailed. It moves in such a way that, that you really feel that this is a next level of animal in Planet Zoo. Like, it is like the details on the model, like how, how the animations work. I think that this is one of the most realistic animals in the game right now. And I am just totally in love with it. Like, I didn't expect that. And here I am. And the fact that you can mix it with so many, like, different animals, I mean different because you can do it with the hippos, you can do it with a lot of primates, you can make the enclosure for them with, uh, for example, buffaloes or the Nile lechway. So really versatile animal, African animal that you can put in many enclosures and it will look amazing. Uh, I've seen them mixed with primates in zoos, like for example with gorillas, so those enclosures can be very interesting and having such a beautiful, like, really colorful animals can bring this like bits of something special to your zoo I think like I feel like and yeah this is basically why I love it so much when it comes to this habitat we are finally here guys I know that the video is almost half done and I still haven't talked about it so I was looking for inspiration online as I often do for the habitats uh, and I found a really nice one but I had really like mixed feelings about this this was probably the most impressive habitat for the river hog that I found online and this was the one from the Singapore Zoo. If you don't know Singapore Zoo, it is one of the best zoos in the world but it is very like uh, jungly, very like uh, located in rainforest so uh, you know all the habitats are very like tropical with a lot of very green and lush tropical uh, plants and so on so it didn't really feel suiting for the Elm Hill City Zoo that is built in Europe in temperate climate and so on but I still decided to go for it because I just loved the like the rock formations that it was surrounded by I love this huge like planter that was in the middle uh, that created like a little like I don't know peninsula or a half island for those animals I love that they had their water section that they were swimming in and when I what this is what I saw on some pictures uh, and I also had some part that was like a bit more open for them just to roam around and so on. Uh, so I really loved it, but I still didn't have any clue what to do for the shelter for them. So I decided to combine a bit. I, uh, you know, took the inspiration from the Singapore Zoo for the enclosure, and then for the shelter, I went for the one from the Sacramento Zoo, which had a lot of wooden pieces incorporated into this building. So uh, I just thought that this is a perfect opportunity to try to use the new. Uh, wood, the new timber, the Indonesian timber that uh, is coming in this new pack. By the way, I forgot to mention that the new update comes with this new multi-axis tool uh, that you can see here when I am moving things and so on. You have this little like square thing uh, next to the arrows that you normally have when you are moving the things using the X button and so on. Uh, it is both amazing. I really think that it can make a building easier just in Planet Zoo. I talked more about this in my uh, in my overview of the new pack video. Uh, so if you've watched that you probably heard that but here while building this habitat I was able just you know to test it while building a huge build like very detailed build and let me tell you that this is both amazing because sometimes it really like makes your life easier but it is so hard to get used to it because uh, you know I am building in this game for several years now like uh more than free uh, and suddenly there is something new so uh, I tend to you know cl misclick like click on it move the things not in the way that I wanted to because I am not used to that so it will take some time for everyone if you build more in planet zoo and are you, you are just you know clicking without any thinking because uh, just like me you are so used to that building uh, sometimes you may be uh, even a little bit annoyed because you will click this arrow uh, like you think you are clicking the arrow but you'll click too, cl too close to the square and suddenly uh, the piece is not moving in the way that you thought it will move it's just just you know floating somewhere else uh, so you keep that in mind if the things will start move moving different this is because of the new tool but uh, I think that once we'll get a grip of it once we'll get used to it it can be very very useful and make be building in Planet Zoo really really easier 
Okay, but right now, let's focus on the actual habitat and let's talk like step by step about what I did here from the very beginning of the video. The first thing that I did uh, was lowering the ground of the entire habitat. I wanted it to be lower than the path for the guests. This is what also uh, is in the Singapore Zoo. Uh, then I did my custom curbs using the new mossy stone that we have now right now in the tropical pack, changing the colors of it to more like brownish grayish one. So it just looks a bit dirty, like people are, you know, stomping on it and so on. Uh, then I just did like this like let's just call it a moat or anything like that so I added the mulch pieces uh, on which later I'll, I added a lot of plants so the, the just the ground like slopes down into the habitat a bit uh, I also did like a custom like guest fence for the guests to prevent them just to you know falling down into <laughs> the habitat uh, and I there I used uh, again the new beams from the from the tropical pack and one of those beams was the old one the theme beam from uh, the I think it is from the base game but yeah this is basically what I did then I took uh, my different rock walls from the entire zoo uh, so the walls that I created using the stalagmites from the twilight pack and some of those tree uh, like fake trees trees that we are often using for to create those mat walls on rock walls uh, and I did like a whole parameter of the habitats using uh, those uh, those uh, different rock walls I also changed the colors of them into more like uh, brown color to make it look more like actual I don't know landslide or some a little cliffs or anything like that and I also added the water to this habitat and I added a lot of plants around it. This is basically because uh, all of the Red River Hogs and Peg habitats in general, there are really like empty plain and there are zero plants in them. This is because the pigs just simply eat everything. Uh, they destroy the habitats. They just, you know, dig with their snouts in the ground and, you know, the plants have very hard time growing in, their, in those habitats. So so I wanted to make it still a bit more lush, a bit more green. Uh, so I had to put the plants on the in the places where the hogs won't be able to reach them. So I did this whole big planter in the middle uh, where there's a lot of different plants and also around the habitat. So uh, near the gas, like on this moat, there are plants and uh, on on the top of those rock uh, rock walls uh, on the sides of habitats, there's a lot of different bushes and you know mixed foliage. Uh, so it all looks nice, it lo all looks green and lush, but there are basically no plants or just several plants here and there in the actual habitat. You also could see me adding a lot of new plants, the plants from the tropical pack. I added a lot of those uh, ferns, those are called the basket ferns, ferns if I am correct. Uh, I really love them. Uh, I think that we can still use them in temperate biomes. I mean, I have very si similar ferns in my local forests as far as I am concerned. I had some second thoughts about using them. I will also uh, add some of those uh, newer palm trees. I don't know, maybe it looks a bit too tropical, but I really love the look of it. I think that we can, you know, just sometimes sneak in some other, you know, uh, kinds of plants to the habitats to make them look a bit unique. Uh, not, you know, being too realistic all of this time. I just loved how it looked. Uh, and this is why I decided to go for a bit more like tropical plants in this habitat. By the way, this habitat is located in the African section of our zoo, opposite to the wildebeest habitat that we've built last time. Of course, the Red River Hogs love the mud bath, so I had to give it to them. Uh, I again hit or just covered the, uh, the edges of the mud bath with the terrain, uh, and then I also added the forage box for them and did the same thing. Uh, I used a new trick that I learned from Just Goron, uh, so if you add the paths uh, first to the habitat then place the uh, enrichment item on them uh, it shouldn't mess up your terrain work it will just stay the same uh, so this is really useful when you first 
it, the, you know, the terrain, the terraforming and so on, and then you want to add your enrichment items. After adding the enrichment, it was time to add a lot of details to this habitat. So uh, the original habitat in Singapore Zoo, it had a lot of logs, a lot of branches in there and so on. So this was really something that I loved. And we also got those new uh, like vines or anything like that, like those very like, uh, twisted branches in this new pack. Uh, so I really wanted to use them. Uh, so I used the mixture of the dead trees that I normally use and those new uh, branches and I think it looks amazing. I also added of course my traditional small rocks and some little plants here and there just you know for some details. I didn't want to go too crazy with them but I thought that somewhere I can just sneak them in. Uh, and of course I added a lot of decals on the ground uh, for some added texture so it all looks a bit better. And I also added this little fence that uh, I took from Singapore Zoo again. Uh, it is used in the areas where uh, there is no like this moat of water in there. There's just, you know, this lower, uh, I don't know, uh, rock formation that possibly the hogs would be able, I, I don't know, to climb or to jump on. So just to be 100% sure that they wouldn't escape, I added those, you know, small fences. Of course, I didn't have to do it because they couldn't climb it in the game, but uh, this is just for some added realism. And then it was time to build the shelter. Again, the shelter is inspired by the Sacramento Zoo from USA. Uh, it was really like easy. Uh, it looks a bit like some of the shelters that we already had in the zoo, so I thought it made sense to use something like that. I use, I did those individual like uh, entrances for the pigs, those small like a little hole for them to go to their uh, to their stalls. I think it is really like adorable. I also added those ramps so they can go there. Uh, and this is all again using uh, the new props from the tropical pack, the wood, the ramps are also made from this mossy stone. So I really love the new building pieces as I told you guys. I also knew that those are probably more like dirty animals. There's a lot of mud and so on. So I tried to make it a bit more like dirty. I used a lot of decals. Uh, I also did some of the interior uh, so I added the, uh, the floors, I added the windows on the video, I built them so we can see, you could see how I normally do it. And I also worked on the holding pen uh, that we will decorate a bit, nothing too crazy. And the entire and interior of the shelter will be done off camera, so uh, if you like to see it, stay tuned for the cinematic shots that are coming soon. Okay guys, so this was all that I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are super excited as I am for the new pack for the new animals and all the things added with this new tropical pack. If you enjoyed the video, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Give this video a big thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it. And of course, leave me a nice comment if you enjoyed today's video. Video. And if you've seen all of my videos covering the new pack, tell me what is your favorite animal or any other favorite feature uh, from all the new things that we are getting right now. If you'd like to support the channel a little bit extra, you can do it with the join button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!